Thank you. Eggs are precious. Sperm are cheap. Sperm come by the millions, but not eggs. A man, during the course of his life, can produce billions of sperm, but we female are born with a limited number of eggs. I had probably about 400 eggs that reached maturity, and I shed them, menstruating, but for two, my two children. This fundamental difference between male and female led us to believe that female had to be naturally more inclined to be selective, because male, male have to distribute their sperm, while female, instead, every sexual encounter, there is a risk of a pregnancy. And this is an incredibly taxing physically and is an enormous responsibility. That's why it was theorized that female are naturally more inclined to chastity than males. <laughs> I am an actress. And I went back to university to do studies on ethology, animal behavior. And Studying the animal, it contradicts this theory that females are more inclined to chastity. If I were a, a female chimpanzee, for example, and with this species we share 98% of our genes, I would make love with as many males as I could. Why? Because I want to confuse the male. I want each male to think, oh, I copulated with her and her and her, therefore these babies could be mine. I would be kind to them, I wouldn't kill them, I wouldn't try to commit infanticides because male chimpanzee try to kill the babies of the chimpanzee female that haven't screwed. You see that promiscuity in this case is much more advantageous than chastity. <laughs> Even a common little bird called Prunella Modularis, and I have played her as an actress, doesn't hesitate to take a second or a third husband to make sure that all her needs are met. Polygamy, or rather polyandry, one wife and many husbands, is much more advantageous than chastity or monogamy. Darling, do you have some cash? One, two, three. How does he want me to feed an entire family with this? I need more. That's all you have? <gasps> if I were Prunella Modularis, I sit on my eggs. My chicks might have different fathers. In the years when the food is scarce, I don't take one, but two or three husbands to provide for the family. Hello, love. Mm -hmm. Hello, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. He has another wife, too. I continue to sit on my eggs. If I were Prunella Modularis, I would have several husbands. One husband, one wife, monogamy. It's for the very wealthy. One man, several wives, several children, <gasps> bad idea. Just like us. One wife, two husbands. Polyandry, that's the best. So, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Thank you. So, is there an essence to femininity? For example, what do we mean by maternal instinct? According to Charles Darwin, we female might be at the origin of altruism. Altruism is nothing else than maternal love 
extended beyond our babies to the rest of the world. And females, because they can be mother, are therefore more generous, more ready to give themselves, more inclined, more capable of self-sacrifice than males. Except that recent studies on animals call the attention to the fact that certain mothers abandon their babies to other mothers that are not even of the same species, like the cuckoo. Except that certain mothers, if they have too many babies, they kill a few and even eat them like the hamster. I am not a monster. Yes, I killed my baby and ate him. It was my tenth child. I was exhausted. If I had been an hamster, he would have been considered natural. If I were an hamster, It's me who decides how many babies I can raise. A baby? Two? Oh, three babies! Oh. Six, seven, eight, eight babies. That's plenty. Nine, ten, ten babies. How am I going to feed them all? This one is cute, he has long legs. It will run fast. This one has big ears. It will hear miles away. <laughs> this one is so small and skinny. What will be of it? It's a good morsel to recoup some vitamin and protein that I lost during childbirth. It will give me strength to take care of the other babies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is enough. If I were an hamster, I would not be in prison. I would have not been considered a monster but a good administrator of my strength, abilities, and resources. No, no, no. <laughs> Chastity, self-sacrifice, does not define femininity. It isn't the common trait that is found in every animal of all species, a common denominator that can say this is the essence of femininity. Of course, there is always the exceptions. There is a, a mother that uh, reaches the ultimate sacrifice, death for the babies. It's a spider in Australia called Diael Gandros. She let the newborn devour herself. Not only that, to facilitate this ca cannibalistic act, she self-digest her body to reduce it to a mush. This kind of self-sacrificing mother is very rare in nature. She's an exception. I love my children. They're all for me. I would give my life for them, as if I were Diael Gandros, the spider. I guard my egg sac. 
With my web, I catch flies. I catch many flies. I have to gain weight to nourish my babies, my spiderlings, when they're born. When they come out of the egg sac, my babies are ravenous. <sighs> if I don't let them eat me, they would eat each other. We spiders are cannibals. Ouch! I... I... First, my babies eat my limbs. Babies eat only mushy food, right? So to help them, I turn my body into mush. Of course, being a mother requires some sacrifices. But isn't this the essence of femininity? I baby, you're biting me. The essence of femininity is to give ourselves. Altruism is in our nature. What's greater than self-sacrifice? It's what makes a woman a woman. Isn't it? What is the essence of femininity? It isn't, we don't know. It isn't chastity or self-sacrifice. Evolution works on diversity in the in-betweens. The secret is diversity, not perfection. We're still evolving. Where the evolution is leading us, we don't know. But we're going, even if we don't know where we're going. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.